Hello everyone, welcome to the Eclectic Chef channel. This is Chef Anthony. Tonight we're going to prepare a very quick but tasty dish. Fresh wood's ear fungus with seafood. Um, the wood's ear is a fungus, it's not really a mushroom, although some people call it that. Now, here's our mise en place. It's pretty simple. Wood's ear fungus, fresh, top left. Top right, we have our seafood. Three large shrimp, halved. Carving squid, which I've cut up into bite-sized pieces. And six cooked oysters. Bottom left, moving to the right, we have one red bird's eye chili, seeds removed. Teaspoon of ground pink peppercorns. Generous teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste. One tablespoon of soy sauce in the center two tablespoons of Shaoxing rice wine to the right. By the way, if you like those little bowls, I love them. I'll put a link to them so you can buy some for yourself if you'd like. Um, if you've looked at our Facebook page, which I hope you have, um, we did a previous version of this with more Japanese style sauce with sake, mirin and soyu. But this one, we're making it a little bit more Chinese with the Shaoxing rice wine. So we hope you enjoy it, and we'll show you how quick and easy this is to put together. Okay, here we go, starting with some beautiful chosen 100% avocado oil heating in our pan. We'll get this to the mid 300s before we uh, pop in the aromatics. A laser thermometer says we're at 390s, 400. Nice hot oil, perfect temp for getting that stuff cooking. And by the way, these laser thermometers are not expensive and I really recommend you get one if you can. I'll put a link to it in the uh, description. Here and aromatics, our pink pepper, bird like chili, garlic ginger paste added. Uh, the one thing you'll notice with now we stir frying, one thing you'll notice with um, fresh wood deer, it doesn't cook down much at all compared to other mushrooms. Keeps its texture, which is part of the appeal for it. But We'll keep stir frying this before we add our seafood. Okay, now the wood is cooked through, let's add our seafood and get that all cooked through. Won't take long. As I said, this is a very quick cooking dish. The oysters, by the way, were cooked before they went in, so we'll be good here. I use the squid as a good guide just to see when it becomes opaque and then we'll put the, keep this moving and then we'll put our sourcing ingredients in. Okay, now our seafood's adequately cooked. Let's add our soy sauce and Shaoxing rice wine. Stir these in well and just let that sauce coat and reduce. It's been my experience that if we just leave this to reduce, we don't need to add any cornstarch. Sorry. This thing smells delicious, by the way. If we look in the bottom of the pan, you'll see how our spatula can clear apart. That tells us our sauce is reduced enough. So let's turn this off and plate up or bowl up our Don Burries. Folks, here's how the finished Don Burry looks. Um, this is served over brown rice, uh, which is my preference, that I cooked in the instant pot with a splash of sake and some 
kombu for extra flavor. I really like the way that the black woods ear fungus offsets the white of the seafood or vice versa. Um, I'll show you how we serve this with a side of uh, gai lan glazed with soy, shaoxing rice wine, and because we're the eclectic chef, uh, Thai sweet chili sauce instead of adding uh, sugar or honey. I think it just adds a little extra kick and taste. And here's the finished presentation with our glazed gai lan. I'll uh, post up the recipe for the gai lan tomorrow or the next day, so keep your eyes out for it. Thanks for watching folks, I hope you enjoyed this really fast recipe tonight. Um, it's quicker to do than film it quite frankly. Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you liked it, you'd subscribe and like this video because it really helps our channel. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.